amazing. Sure that they got all the vocab words 
lined up in the right spot, made it a little more ac interactive, made it more fun than a worksheet, um, and had it, we were all able to see it and be part of what was going on. They are working on smart boards, interactive whiteboards that are multi-touch. You can have more than one person up there touching them, but those are still crazy expensive. Um, so the single touch are still the most common. Try to aim for groups of four, and then we'll go from there. And hopefully you can see what I'd like each group to have. So if you could get in those groups and go to, there's a piece of paper behind Frank. There's a piece of paper right here. There's a piece of paper right there. And there's a piece of paper up here. Go to one of those pieces of paper. Ready, go. Yes. Go. Go to the paper. Leave the paper there. If you, if you and your group go to the paper, and once I see you congregated there, one last instruction, and then you get to just play. That one. Okay. You guys are four. You guys are four. You guys are four, and you guys are the leftovers. That's awesome. Okay. Raise your hand if you are the person in the group with the computer. Who in the group has a computer? I, it needs to be a computer that can play CDs and DVDs. Excellent. Each group has this one. Excellent. Who in the group can connect to the internet with whatever device? Somebody who's trying to get it? We've got a computer, right? So somebody. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, who has Facebook? At least one person per group. I hope yes. And do you guys have Twitter? One person in the group have Twitter? I have a Twitter, but I don't know. Who over here has Twitter? Anybody? Yeah. One or two. Would one of you Twitter people be willing to join the group up front instead? Is that totally enough? That'd be great. Thank you. Awesome. I don't even know if I know my name. Listen up for just a second. Do you have Twitter? Just want to point out that the your page has all your instructions on it. The last thing on it says that you're going to be sharing ideas with the rest of us. So the whole point here is let's do some exploring and then we're going to share, okay, how could I actually use this in my classroom? You're only going to have like four minutes at each station, so please try to do things quickly. You guys need a computer out for your station, so if somebody wants to use a computer, computer, that would be great. Yes. Let me know if you have questions. Ready, go. Are you getting your computer started? As much as you can. Okay, but if you want to pick a different color, you can. All right, so our interactive whiteboard group, what did you guys do? Something musical that day, right? Learn about Beethoven or whatever. 
But if it's a time waster, don't do it. Or if that's how you see it in your philosophy and the way that you approach music ed, don't do it. Because anything that you would call a time waster is exactly that, is a time waster. So this is stuff that I feel passionate about and I felt like met my goals and the way that I wanted my curriculum to go. But if you don't agree, there, is, there are no hard feelings there. You do what's right for you. But don't do it just because you think you have to or are supposed to. It needs to be something that you actually think is important and is helping your kids to meet their goals. That's what it's really all about, right? Because what goals do the kids need to meet? Is this going to help me get there or not? It actually so. says time saving fix on there. Does it really? <laughs> <laughs> time saving. So cool. All right. But I'm, just no. gonna, I'm just gonna shut up now. No, 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 Joe. And if you if you want to talk more about it later, you can. I wasn't trying to pick on you. I just I think I think you voiced things that a lot of people. <laughs> I think you probably voiced something that a lot of people think, especially some of these cheesy games up here. You may or may not do any of that with your high school kids, right? Because for your high school kids, that might very well be a time waster. My high school kids had trouble knowing what notes were in a major chord. So that game that somebody was playing a minute ago where you had to label the notes in a major chord, that would have been helpful for my high school students. But for other high school students, it would have been a waste of time. So of course, you got to match this with what your goals and objectives are and all that kind of stuff. OK. Um, Twitter. What would you find on Twitter? Um, well, I just found. Um, <laughs> Uh, NAFME, uh -huh. uh, National Association for... Which is one I had on the list. Did you find any others? Um, I, it, it just came up because the Twitter wasn't... Got it. Okay. So that's okay. Like that. NAFME is a good one to know. And Interactive Whiteboard, what did you guys find? Yeah, we found Drum Machine. And um, it's just... Yeah, you can um, click on any of like the emphasis that you want to happen. And that's all it does. And... Um, <laughs> It's I guess you can use it for like, it teaches you different parts of like a drum set and helps you with rhythms if you wanted to have that in the background. So. Excellent. And it's something you could throw up on the whiteboard that the kids can kind of see. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Cool. Very, very cool. All right. Well, I hate that I clearly planned to talk about too much at the beginning because I don't want to hold you guys late, which means some groups didn't get up to the whiteboard, and I'm very, very sorry. I'm going to share a lot of these ideas um, on a document on Angel later today and think it would be a great idea, obviously, for you to download it and just save it somewhere so that someday when you're going, I think I want to do something technology with my kids, what website could, website could I start at? You've got a list to start with. Okay. Thank you guys for playing today. If you'll pile those messages back up. See you Tuesday.